So, finally, a project update on the um, electric motor rotor. Uh, the build itself is going very well. I will show you some still pictures later on in this uh, episode. Uh, I thought I would start out with uh, showing you some of the tools that I have constructed to um, make this build uh, easier. Uh, some tools are really simple, like this one. It's just a uh, slightly compressed aluminum tube uh, that allows me to uh, wrap, uh, uh, consistently wrap uh, brass wire around it to get the correct length. And these uh, brass wire loops uh, are later on used to uh, firmly press the electrical connections uh, from the battery um, to the aluminum structure because I use the aluminum structure as a, a current path uh, for the motor to get the, the current. Uh, so it's important that, that they are a very specific length uh, and, um, and that they are the same. Uh, I have to do like 150 or a bit more of these. So this simple tool uh, make that happen in a good way. Another tool I made is this uh, simple 3D printed um, alignment tool. So it, it makes it possible for me to consistently mark out where, you know, halfway uh, through the um, tubing where that is. Uh, and also, uh, you know, halfway this way as well via that hole there. Uh, so that helps a lot uh, to make uh, the structure as accurate as possible. Uh, and speaking of simple, uh, this tool is also a simple tool. It, it uh, fits onto the 30mm um, tube that makes up for the propulsion parts of the uh, multi rotor. And it's simply clamped onto each side of the two parts, and you can uh, fasten them in, uh, in a um, vise and push the two separate parts together with the uh, intersecting uh, connecting part in the middle here uh, because you will have to have a pretty good fit on, on the parts so they will be a lot of friction when you push them together especially since I have bent the tube already so it's not uh, perfectly circular anymore so these simple parts are also, also super useful when doing that job Uh, some tools are nice to have, and other tools are must-have. And one of, of the must-have tools is um, my threading tool. In this structure I have 50-ish or so, 5mm uh, aluminum rods, and I have to uh, thread them in every end, so it, it's more than 100 threaded ends. And if you were to just try to thread them <coughs> by hand with this tool, um, you would not be able to do this build, because threading by hand is you will always get a slight misalignment and the thread will degrade uh, in very short time so it will, would be useless uh, in here every time so I made a threading tool which uh, helps align the uh, rod uh, so it's, uh, the rod is um, put through here and it uh, hits the, um, the threading die in a, in a lined up position so you're able to repeatedly do threads that are uh, accurate uh, farther distance farther distance in and it's uh, of course a hole straight through there and you fasten this in a electric um, drill
Another 3D printed alignment tool is uh, this one. Uh, it helps me um, center the uh, holes I have to drill through the um, ball joints. So I can put it in place here and uh, firmly down uh, and then have a, a pillar drill, uh, drill the hole and I will get it uh, straight on. And uh, finally to the delicate matter of balancing your propellers. Uh, these are the Hobby King DJI style propellers, 17 by 5. Um, they are lightweight, I think they are like 24 grams each. Uh, and they are have good performance. In retrospect, I would have bought the uh, Hobby King Quanum 17 inches by 5.5, I think. They are uh, well balanced uh, out of the box and they are only slightly heavier than these. Um, but, uh, anywho, the first tests I did uh, showed that these this were a slightly better match. They had a slight uh, advantage in performance, so I opted for these. Uh, and to balance them I used um, this setup. It's two magnetic balancers mounted like this, like perpendicular to each other. Uh, and to make these propellers spin smoothly you need to balance them in two axes. So I start with this axis and you can see it tips over so it needs to be heavier here or lighter here and since they are already so light I do not dare to take off material so I add material uh, to this blade here uh, and then I change the position uh, to the second balancer uh, and um, I add material to this axis here uh, to make it balance in that direction as well uh, and doing so, you will have very well balanced propellers. So this uh, this setup really helped me uh, balance my 76 propellers. Uh, great stuff. This is always uh, also from Hobby King, of course. Uh, so that's uh, some of the tooling I made for this project or setup of tooling. Uh, let's check out the uh, the progress in the basement. Okay, so I want to take this uh, opportunity to say thank you to Hobby King for becoming part sponsor of this epic project. I'm so much looking forward to the maiden flight later on this spring. Uh, and after that I will do a review of the Multistar Elite 5010 274kV electric motors that I use for this build. Uh, so far they are performing really really well. If you have not checked out their website, uh, do so. It's a great place to source materials for makers like myself. So again, thank you Hobby King.